Hey, good morning, you guys. So I'm not going to lie, when it was 1 in the morning last night, I was a little bit annoyed because it hadn't snowed once. And now outside, it is completely white. So I'm glad that everyone is safe and sound in their own home. I am bummed that I don't get to see you guys. Uh, I was really looking forward to this, but I think this will still be good. Um, we <laughs> just know... This is home life. So most of you have kiddos too. What is what's happening over here? And so this one's watching cartoons. The other one's eating breakfast. And um, who knows what's going to happen. Good morning, Sarah. So the point of this morning and um, coming in here live, I just wanted to kind of set the tone. And I know that a lot of you were all kind of at different places in our coaching journey. Some of you started similarly around the time that I did, and some of you are brand new and you're just learning all of this. And I think it's important for us to always, no matter where you're at, to reconnect with why we're doing it. What is our mission? What is the goal? Why, why did we choose to do this? Uh, what are what are our what is going to keep us moving forward in the right direction when things get hard? Because they will. And I think setting that expectation is probably one of the most important things that we need to do from the beginning. Know that this will get hard, but know it will be worth it. Know that you're going to be frustrated and feel defeated at times, but you're going to push through. And um, it's, it's just really important to start to develop that mindset. And that's why personal development is one of our vital behaviors, which I'm going to go through here in a second. So <clears throat> for those of you who are new, and you're like, okay, so I'm excited, but I don't even know like what this really means. I wanted to kind of share with you what our mission is as, as coaches. Why are we doing this? And every team out there whoops, is going to be a little bit different, but here is, to me, what I, I wrote out as our collective mission, um, but also I feel like it's also Beachbody's mission. You know, their mission statement is to help people achieve healthy and fulfilling lives. And it's hard to rewrite that as my own because, um, or, or to make it different because that is my goal. And for a lot of you, I know that's your goal as well. So our mission, I, in a nutshell, is to inspire, to educate, and motivate and coach as many people as possible to live healthy, happy, and fulfilling lives. And I feel like so many people in the very beginning get um, stuck in selling things and they get intimidated. Like I'm not a salesperson and I don't like being icky and pushing products because you see all these other network marketing companies do that. And why we're different, we are a coach. Like look up the definition of what coach means. And our mission isn't to sell things. There is a transaction that's involved that's necessary for people to get results. But our mission <clears throat> is to educate. Our mission is to inspire to motivate and and to really mentor people through their journey. Get the blanket. Okay. Okay. So um, that's one aspect, though, and the other aspect, which is equally important, I think a lot of people get scared to think about and acknowledge, and it's to create financial freedom and freedom of time for our families so that we can live full, abundant lives, and give back to as many people as possible. So if you're broke, you can't really afford to give and bless people with, with either finances or stuff, right? If, if you have nothing. Um, I love Dave Ramsey's quote is, no, I can't think of it, but it's something like live like, live like no one else, so you can give like nobody else. And it's really like if you make an uh, if you make substantially more money, you're able to help people out, right? And and bless your bless your family and friends and people in need. You're able to be in that position to give, and I love that. And um, for me, why I started in talking about financial stuff is I wanted you know to spend time with my boys and get out of my current job, which was in prison, and I had to make you know, our baseline was $4,000 a month for me to come home. And that was just our reality. And so fi financially getting 
this business to a place where I could come home allowed us freedom of time and for me to raise my boys. And that's priceless. Right. And so you have to find kind of for you, what is going to increase your necessity to do uncomfortable things. And I'm going to be honest, I've worked with coaches who didn't have um, a big need necessity to like survive or a big goal that affected their family. And they didn't ever do the things that were uncomfortable because they had no necessity, very low necessity. Yeah, it'd be cool, but I don't really need to. I'm not uncomfortable. So the best thing you can do is get, get uncomfortable. Force yourself out of your comfort zone. That's the only place where you're going to grow. Okay, <clears throat> so we've got two missions as coaches. And in that financial aspect is also helping to give back. So this is like me, one of my genuine passions is to help you guys be successful in your goals and your financial goals for you to find financial freedom, for you to make your, you know, financial marker goals that you, that your, <clears throat> your family needs. That is a genuine goal of mine. And that's what I love about our business model is you have to invest in other people, especially as you grow. So I think that's pretty awesome. Um, okay. Next I wanted to touch on what is the difference in my opinion between coaches who make it and are successful and those who end up quitting. And, you know, I three years is not a ton of time for a career, right? It's like a baby career. But I've been doing this now three years, as you guys know, and there's a lot of – I've seen a lot of different um, coaching strategies, personalities. I've seen a lot of people – hi, Naomi – start and quit, and I've seen people stick it out. I've seen people quit and come back. And then I have, like, my mentor, Liz, who started – I've been doing it three years – seven years ago, um, and I've watched her progression. And – there's some really key things that stick out to me. Um, and I'm going to walk you through those, but I'm also going to have you right now. I, want, I hope everyone has some, a pen and paper. I want you to write some things down. So one of the huge things that I recognize, I see that I've also felt for myself, is that they stay connected to why they're doing it. And they understand what it's going to be worth. So like for me last night, it's not a very healthy thing, but I think I maybe got five hours of sleep and, but I, and I was up till one in the morning making videos for this. And I was so excited though. It was momentary uncomfortable situation for what I would, what our team would reap from it. The reason why I could do that, like with a happy heart is because of the, the reason, the why that motivated me. So when it comes to coaching, <clears throat> I want you to write down why you're doing this. Why? Why are you invest why are you watching this? Why are you going to spend time training today? Why did you why did it spark interest within you? And while helping other people is a great reason, it can't be your only one. And I remember when Liz told me that and I'm like, no, that is my reason. <laughs> You have to have some skin. You have to have something that's going to affect you personally if you fail. The only way you fail is if you quit. Failure and failing are two different things. Failing is actually required to be successful, and failure is you choosing to quit. So why are you doing this? And I want you to write it down. And if you can't think of it right now, I want you to spend some time on this. Because if you don't recognize why, now, early on, then it's going to be really hard for you to last in this business and in anything, right? In your workouts, right? Our workout programs get hard. Eating clean, following nutrition program, that gets hard. But if you're connected to a why and you're like, I want to feel really good in a bikini when I go to Maui or <laughs> when I go on the cruise, that's motivation. That's a reason why. Um, I, I'm going to share this really quick. I think it was from the compound effect, uh, that book. But no, maybe not. No, I can't. All the books get jumbled in my brain. Maybe it'll start with why. Um, if there was two buildings, 100 feet off the ground, and there was um, uh, just a board, 
like a four by four board stretched between the two. And I was like, hey, I'll give you 20 bucks if you walk across this board to the other side. And you'd be like, screw you, heck no. No way am I gonna do that. Of course, I wouldn't either. Okay, now, uh, the other building is on fire and your kid is on the other side. And the only way for you to save your child is to cross that board, go get them and come back. Would you do it? I mean, still would be freaking scary, but you'd do it. What's the difference? The reason why. Good morning, Lacey. The reason why is what is going to make you do uncomfortable things and get out of your comfort zone. It's going to, in, in life in general, this is a life lesson, but it's so important for coaching and in this business. You have to be connected with why you're doing this, and it has to be something that sets your soul on fire and makes you wake up without complaining at four in the morning to start working or do your workouts before you go to your regular job. That is what happened when I first started and I was working full time. I knew the only way for me to, to do this was to wake up early. <laughs> so I did. And uh, it was 100% worth it. So I need you to connect with a very deep reason why and I want you to write it out. Okay, <clears throat> now I want to highlight some reasons why coaches quit from my experience. One, they don't believe in themselves. They don't think that they're anyone special to lead or help anyone. And because they don't see value in themselves, they're unable to get out of their own way to help other people. Second one, they don't give it time. The first year, in my opinion, is the hardest piece of your business and coaching because most of us are either working full-time or you have kids at home, and that's also a full-time job, and you are trying to learn so much. It's, a new, it's overwhelming, you guys. This whole thing is overwhelming. It's a new career. It is a new job, so... <laughs> So, um, you know, expect it to be, and that's okay. You push through anyways. But many people, they're, they're weak-minded, and they haven't developed the muscle of the mind yet to say, okay, this is hard, but it's okay. I'm going to do it. Step by step, I'm going to get through it. Um, the other, another reason I see is they, they just don't understand it. So they start, and they're like, this sounds good. Nah, this isn't for me. I actually have to work. This isn't for me. You mean I didn't earn $50,000 in my first month? This is so lame. This is a job. And the way that our business model is set up, um, the first year you don't usually see the equal return of your investment of time. That one-year mark hits if you're consistent and you'll start to see it compound. The two-year mark hits and you're like, holy crap. And from what I hear, which is, Lining up to be true, the three-year the three year mark hits of you being consistent and showing up, and your mind will be freaking blown. Last month's paycheck was our biggest, and like I had told you guys, uh, March is my three-year anniversary, and last month we made just about $6,500 working part-time, and I traveled, and like that's crazy. I think I did the um, – the, equation of how many hours I worked compared to what I got paid and I got paid like $130 an hour right <laughs> like that's crazy that's the potential if you stick it out that's not going to happen in the beginning so that's a huge reason why a lot of coaches fail they don't have the long game in mind they have don't have very strong work ethic and they want to see all the things now and they're not willing to wait for it Think of this as college. I went to school for four years to get my bachelor's in nursing, and I spent over $100,000 for a semi-secure, semi-good paying job. I want you to be here for four years and show up consistently and learn for four years, and at the end, you will not have $100,000 in debt. You will be, you'll probably be making $100,000 a year, at least, if you show up consistently. Okay. The next question I want to ask you is, what is it worth to you? Everyone's in a different place, so this answer is going to be different for everybody. 
what is it worth to you to be here to show up to to start inviting people to, to be a part of our challenge groups if you can make an extra hundred bucks would it be worth it if you could pay for your psychology would it be worth it if you can make an extra five hundred dollars for your family each month starting this month would it be worth it if you could have two people reach out to you and say you changed my life would it be worth it only you know what that is but I want you to write it down and after this I want you to either send it to me or if I'm not your coach send it to your coach and I want you to say this is why I'm doing this and it will be worth it to me if X Y and Z if you I'm gonna ask you a question if you could earn a million dollars in uh, over the next 10 years through this business would you do it? That's an average of $100,000 a year, an average, right, over 10 years. Um, so many people are doing that, like a lot of people who are consistent and showing up and following the training that I'm going to give you are making that happen. You're not going to make $100,000 your first year most likely, but come year four or five when you're making mid six figures and as that continues and compounds to high six figures, it does easily even out so if that you know has that ever been a dream of yours have you ever wanted to be that financially free have you ever thought it was possible I never thought it was possible to make that much money as a nurse and now we're living it and I'm seeing it I'm like holy crap people don't believe it because it's not common it's not normal I don't want to be normal I don't know about you guys so it's really important for you to have clarity in this area because like I said before, things are going to get hard. People are going to not always be supportive. There's several coaches who do not have a supportive spouse, a supportive family, supportive friends, <clears throat> but they push through anyways. Um, I, I was on a conference call the other day with an amazing woman who was incredibly successful in her first year of business which is not it's not common and she her fiance was not supportive she was a personal trainer which is really hard to be a personal trainer and be successful at this um, and no one supported her and she hit some of the highest ranks in her company in one year because she was determined and so she had she had necessity she had an important reason that was motivating her through through all of that only this is your life you guys we live in a we are doing a really amazing um, thing with our business to where we have to take care of ourselves and that's what I'm gonna get into here in just a second and as we wrap up we have to show up we have to be authentic we have to continuously grow and learn and build our mindset and our belief and our tool set so we can mentor and coach other people it's a very rare opportunity to be involved with a business that is, has that as like your main focus. I, I learned, I recognize probably a year in, there is such a unique uh, blessing that we have because we have a combination of entrepreneurship because we run our own business. Uh, we have nobody who is, our own, who is our boss. You are your own boss. You make your own hours. You work as much or as little as you want. You have entrepreneurship, but we're partnered with a $1.3 billion corporation together. So we get the freedom of entrepreneurship, right? And then the, um, there's no ceiling as to how much we can earn with entrepreneurship. But we have the backing of, you know, the hundreds of thousands of dollars that go into the scientific, the studies and research and um, <clears throat> clinical trials that Beachbody does on these programs and products that we can never do on our own. They have the formulation and they have such high quality, high quality stuff that we could never make on our own. <clears throat> and they incentivize us for helping people. And so when we, when we, you know, every time that you help at least three people in a month, you get a free prize. Like, how cool is that? Yeah. You do that three months in a row, you get a free trip to our annual conference. You continue that, you continue um, helping people, and your whole family gets to be taken on a luxury vacation somewhere, wherever it is that year. 
Uh, we went to Mexico to an all-inclusive resort last year. The year before was Punta Cana. We leave in a, we leave in a few weeks for um, a, a Caribbean cruise that we get to go on for free, paid for, just because we're partnered with this $1.3 billion company. We have um, every year, we have our Coach Summit. It's in Indianapolis this year. 100%, if I could require it, I would, because it's so powerful. Uh, the people who go, Sarah can attest to this, the people who go, they, they, it's just, it's, it's a game changer. Uh, the first year it was in Nashville and I had a six month old and we weren't going to go. My coach was like, look, Jessica, if you're serious about this, I, you have to, it's just a business investment. You have to go. The whole thing's a write off. And I was like, uh, we went and I wouldn't be here if I didn't go. I'm just being honest with you. So I highly recommend you go. You get a new coach price. I think it's $145 if you're a new coach. And um, we're going, we'll be there. It's just really, really powerful. So all these different trainings and things that our company wants us to be a great representation of them. Think of yourself as like a franchise owner, right? You want to be a good representation of the company that you're working for, but they do not also define you. You are you as an entrepreneur, as a person, and you partnered with them. So it's this weird hybrid that is not, it's, I've never had a situation like this before in my life in the field of health and fitness. Obviously there's other companies out there, but nothing that resonates so um, closely with me because we're changing people's lives, you guys. There's amazing other stuff out there. Like I love the doTERRA oils. And in a sense, I, I could see that they're doing that, but there's no oil that's going to fix foundational health stuff, right? The makeup and stuff that's great, but it's not like we are making people better parents. We are making people better, have better marriages. We are helping people be the best version of themselves so they can show up and live their life fully. Nothing and none of the other stuff is going to do it. So when you get like weird about, well, these other MLM companies and I don't want to be like them. We're not like them. We are a completely different category, and there's nothing out there that equates to this. I don't care, like Isogenics, Thrive, all these other things, they do not have what we have in the fitness, the nutrition, the peer support, the quality and the quantity of what is in Shakeology, our performance line, the clinical trials that are linked to our performance line, the fact that it's the actual performance line of Ironman, like these things other companies don't have. So be proud of that and be excited about what you just stepped into because it's going to rock your world and you are going to change so many people's lives because of it. Okay. So we have four vital behaviors that um, actually the company came up with that they recommend all coaches do to be successful and they actually just changed, which I'm really excited about. Our company is always continuing to grow and learn and evolve. And if you are a part of a company that is not like that, they will die. This is Beachbody's 20-year 20, 20 anniversary. That's huge for a network marketing company. Most companies, they um, shut down within 10 years, I think. Okay, so four vital behaviors for successful coaches. Personal development is number one. And... What does that mean? I'll be honest. When we, when I first started coaching, I was like, I'm pretty developed myself. <laughs> I have like a good mindset and a very positive person. I don't really need this. Bull honky. It's not true. One of the best things that Beachbody partnering with this company has done for me has been the personal development that I've been forced to do, basically. Um, I knew that if I wanted to be successful, I had to dive into these books. And <clears throat> I was working full-time, and so I listened to Audible books, and I still listen to them because I'm a horrible sit-down reader because of them. Um, but personal development is so essential because we cannot lead unless we become a leader ourselves and learn how to develop other leaders. That's what this is about. And so... Um, one of my favorite books for our business, actually right now just came out, it's called Build to Last. You can get it on Amazon. This, the author of this is my coach, Liz's coach. He's one of the top earners in the company. He made 858000 
this last year and he basically took the year off. He's basically taken the last two years off and he made over 800,000 both years. He's very, very good at business strategy for what we're doing. So highly recommend that book. Um, a lot of you are going to need to work on your confidence first though. The business will not come unless you learn to value yourself and know that you are here for a reason and that you are someone to help some someone. You are someone to make an impact. You have a lot of potential within you and you have a fire within your soul and you know that you're here for a purpose and a reason and you are going to make an impact. You have to start owning that and knowing that what you have to offer is very valuable and valuing yourself. Otherwise, you're going to struggle. So <clears throat> if you need some recommendations, ask your coach or you can ask me and I would be more than happy to shoot you some personal development book recommendations. The Compound Effect is really good. Um, the Power of Vulnerability by Brene Brown is really good if you're one who struggles with being vulnerable, basically. Um, gosh, now I'm totally blanking on, there's so many, but personal development is important. Second, being a product of the product, you guys. I do not want anyone on our team who is trying to sell stuff or represent stuff or recommend stuff that, who, if they're not doing it themselves. That is not who we are. Maybe that's what some coaches do, but that's not who we are. You have to be a product of the product. You have to prioritize your health. You cannot sacrifice your health for your business. Maybe in some, like for last night, I did, <laughs> right? In a month, in like days or maybe even a week span where you're pushing really hard for a goal, but not over time. You have to be a product of the product. You have to drink Shakeology every day. You need to try Energize. Try our Beach Bars. This is not, maybe not all at once, but eventually you need to try them. You need to try the workouts. You need to know what you're talking about, and you will learn over time. You don't need to know everything right now, but you'll learn over time. So be a product of the product. The next is a connect, invite, and follow up. <clears throat> you have to invite people to join you. If you don't, your business will not grow and you will not help people. <laughs> um, we have this really amazing uh, business activity tracker that you guys are going to get, but uh, we've noticed as a team, we've been doing it as a team, that inviting is one of our weak areas. And so it's something that we're growing in, right? We have to invite people to be a part of our team, of our network, of coaching, of uh, our challenge groups, because if we don't, we're not gonna help them. This is just the way that it is. So if you're someone that's like, I just wanna help people, you're not gonna help people unless you get out there and you invite people. And who cares? I, I'm gonna put this, this um, in front of you. If you invite 100 people, 100 people to your challenge group, and you're like, I'm super excited, I'm really passionate about helping other women feel their absolute best. Um, this has been changing a lot of people's lives. I'm just starting it, have no idea what I'm getting into, but I'm really excited. You, I would love to do this with you. Are you interested? So you send that message. It's genuine to 100 people, and you get 80 no's. Not good statistics, but you get 20 maybes or yeses, right? 20 people. Yeah, I'll try it out. And then out of those 100 people, you get one or two people that it changes their life. And they send you a message. And they're like, hey, Lacey. Hey, Naomi. Hey, Jessica. Hey, Rachel. Hey, Nikki. You changed my life. You didn't know, but when you reached out to me, I was going through a really hard time. I was going through a divorce at the time, and I, I really thought I had nothing to live for. But being a part of your challenge group showed me that I still want to be here. I still want to show up for my kids. And, you know, I had a, a bottle of pills on the counter that night that I was thinking about taking, but I decided not to because of the hope that I found in your group. Would you still send that? Would you still have sent those 100 invites? And whether to those 80 people who said, no, you're crazy, would you still have done it? I hope you say yes. That's what this is about. It's a, it's a numbers game. The more people you talk to, the more people who tell you no, the more people will tell you yes, and the more lives you'll change. And the only way to learn is by failing. Who Maybe 20 people are going to think you're batshit crazy. That's okay. You learn, right? You're like, hey, Jessica, here's a screenshot of my invitations I'm sending out to people. I'm not getting any good feedback. Do you have any recommendations? 
absolutely. I will 100% would love to help you. Okay, and we'll brainstorm together. But you have to invite people. You have to connect with them. The point of social media literally is you're making new friends. You're commenting on their stuff. You're messaging them. You're asking them how they're doing. This is not all beach body talk. Please do not do that. I genuinely care about people. How would you ask people to lunch? Hey, how you doing? How's the family? How's the kids? Cool. We should go to lunch. It's not awkward. For some reason, we make things awkward when it comes to our business. <laughs> and then no, right now, you will have to follow up with people a substantial amount of time. Times. Studies have shown it takes seven to nine touch points for people to make a decision on something. Most likely you did not sign up the first time. Most likely it took follow-ups, right? You have to follow up with people. That is where you're going to get the majority of your new customers. So we're going to teach you today how to have like a running list, um, a really awesome process that we've developed for, to help people and educate people on what we have to offer. Um, but please know immediately that you're going to have to follow up with people just the way that it is. So do not be surprised. You're not annoying them. People are freaking busy and you're the only one thinking about your business all the time. They are not. So you're going to have to follow up with them consistently. Hey, just checking in. Haven't heard from you. Hey, how's it going? Are you surviving the snow? Just checking in because our challenge group's starting soon. At the seventh time, I'm like, hey, I, I just, listen, I don't want to be that person. I don't want to be annoying. Um, so please let me know if you're not interested, and that's totally fine. I just know you exp had to express interest before, and I want to do my part and make sure I don't drop the ball. I know life is busy. So if you're still interested, I'd love to chat with you. And if not, just let me know so I can take you off my list, and I will stop bugging you. How hard is that, right? So we have to follow up with people. And then the final one is getting people results. If we don't get people results, what the heck are we doing? Just so all of you know here, because I know some of you are new, every, results are guaranteed. You buy a challenge pack, you buy Shakeology, you drink it for 30 days, not impressed with your results, you get a refund. No company does that. Like, that's amazing. And our job is to get people results in their business as coaches and also in their health. And that's what our challenge groups are about. So, um... I know this was kind of a lot, but I wanted you, I wanted to go over those really quick and I want you to start by making a list of 10 people who you can reach out to. Not hard. 10 people. You know thousands. 10 people who you're like off the top of your head and do not think, oh my gosh, I don't know what they'll say. I just, just write them down. That's the first step. Write them down. And I want you to also think of people who you would want to build a business with. Because we maximize our impact when we find other people who want to learn and grow in this business with us. I can't help 100 people in one day. But if I can help 10 people help 10 people, we can do that, right? All right, you guys. So today um, I have – Sarah is uploading some videos as well. We have created some trainings for you guys. You're going to learn how to set up your coach office. If you haven't done that, you're going to learn a crash course on our programs and products. Um, you're going to learn to love objections because that's everyone's fear, right? So I did a whole training on that. You're going to learn social media basics. Really important to properly attract people and look professional. Um, you're going to learn how to learn how to increase your customer acquisition. That was the process that I had referred to earlier where um, – I basically combine my nurse brain and my health coach brain and my years of going back and forth with people. I no longer do that. So I have a process. As soon as people, as soon as someone wants more information, I send them to an application form. And I'm setting that. This is all getting set up for you guys today. How I use MailChimp. There's a training in that. Um, I'm going to be doing a, a training on our compensation plan, how we get paid, how it works, short game, long game, that kind of stuff, bonuses how to make your first $500 this month. Um, and then Sarah's going to be doing an overview of our business activity tracker that I had showed you. And we'll be uploading that to structure for you guys to know what to do for to build your business. And then um, Sarah's also going to be going over your blueprint for success. Like what are your goals? What are your first business goals? What, do, what is the first thing you should aim for? And then what is the, what are the future, what's like the roadmap ahead of you for the next couple years? And then Sarah's teaching us her awesome time management skills and how to schedule your day as a coach. 
And then um, also she's going to be talking about inviting and a couple of different processes. One for sending cold invites. Sorry, it scared me. My dog freaked out. That scared me. Um, and then this, a seven-step inviting process that she's learned. And then at 11, we're going to reconvene and um, we're going to talk about mastering a business mindset and answer any questions you guys have, okay? Whew. Sorry, this was longer than I planned, but have a great day and I look forward to chatting with you guys later. Mommy.